it's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Okay, mama, you're okay. Yeah. You're okay, baby. Yeah. Just a couple more seconds. Couple more seconds. Yeah. Couple more yeah. seconds. Yeah. I got you. I got you. You're okay. You're okay. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. You're okay. You're okay, baby. I'm sorry. I'm you're sorry. Okay. You're okay. I promise, I'm not trying to hurt you. It's okay. There you go. Right. Oh. She's kind of on a mat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, they gave me a butter knife. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, baby. Look at you. Look at you, baby. Yeah. Do we have a treat that we can throw her immediately? Is there food in there? That's a good one. That's She's not going to eat it. No, we'll stay like this for a while until she calms down. Yes, sir. Never mind, never mind. I got it. It's a girl, Bowsett. I've been after her since November and she was out here not too long ago. And they almost had her. This lady that lives in this house can put hands on her. I didn't know any of I didn't know any of this. But when Val was out here last time, they didn't sit down. But uh, I don't know. Back up a little bit. Over there, please, that'll shop. <laughs> uh, she said last time she was out here I was gonna take her. She still had milk. And she had puppies. And they got all her puppies out of the last week, the week before. Whew. I wonder if she was fine. Like, oh, my God, that one. Yeah. Because she ran that hurt. That's a good one. Trapped when I made the first thing I caught was like a 15 pound cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a 60 pound cat from in the woods. And it was just all over the trap, all over the trap. And then we went and talked to, right after that, we went to the trapping seminar with Kevin and Kelly. And he's saying just, you know, touch the trap. It's an extension of them to calm them down. Because sometimes you have to cover them. Sometimes you have to walk completely away. I try not to walk too far away. As they start really trying to claw to get out, 
they won't hurt themselves. You can kind of interfere. That's the nice thing about the group you work with, though. We all work together. We might all do something just a little bit different. That's all. the thing I love. It's fascinating. It's all these different cogs in this bigger machine. You know, there's nobody really driving it. Everybody's kind of driving right. it collectively. It's pretty great. Yeah. Even, everybody. even Doug with Lone Star Animal Recovery. Wealth of knowledge last year. I was going to say, even Doug. Is Doug going to know that you even said even Doug? <laughs> I don't even know his last name. I can't think of his last name right now. But that's his job job. They, oh, yeah. He's a... Uh, He's got a contract. And... You don't respond to that either, huh? Okay. I did that earlier and she ran. Huh? Good work, you guys. That's awesome. Judging by how calm she is right now, this is going to be a great, yeah, that's awesome. great that's dog for someone. Wanted, that's not the way I wanted to get her, but she's healthy. She's not healthy, healthy but she's not hurt. So that's right. She seems to. And forgive me. Your life just got a whole lot better, honey. Yeah. That's right. Who's <laughs> you do that with Lucky? Uh, yeah. When, what's Lucky? When is it? And being that they were, they've been after her actively since November, I don't want to risk opening the trap. That's the only reason I haven't given her off. That's why I hadn't slide that bowl of water in there. I don't want her to. to I don't, I don't want her to get out until we get to the vet. Right. I did have one of those things. I think she can get by without going to the emergency vet. I think she can just get a checkup from there. I'll see any night I don't. You okay, baby? You okay? How was she with the drive? <laughs> she was good. She was hoping the other towners would take the lead, though. <laughs> no whining, no complaining. Look at her. Only one. Well, my name's Gwinnett Peebles, and I'm with Poodle Rescue of Houston. And uh, we're here at Poodle Rescue of Houston. Excellent. And so you're going to take in Tootsie yeah. and clean her up and get her ready to Absolutely. be adopted. Y'all are welcome to uh, to watch the process. That'd be great. Uh, we've got a grooming shop. Our veterinarian happens to be on site, just coincidentally, and and um, so we're going to get her all processed and get her set up. Great. We'd love mm -hmm. to follow the process. Okay, let's do it. I'm Elliot, by the way. Hello, nice Elliot. Nice to meet you, Melanie. 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 Hi, Melanie. Hi. Melanie and. Ellie. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Now, actually, this uh, uh, this building, Prestonwood Kennels Pet Resort, this is not my, this isn't the rescue organization. This is how I support my husband's fishing habit. Okay? <laughs> so we board and groom and train, and so uh, that's, uh, that's, so actually, Poodle Rescue is located back here. So we can walk back here. We can start wherever you want to. Um, 
And uh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, okay, you wanna take this? Let's put it, oh, let's do it. Yeah, we can we can take Tootsie and just get her going. Whatever All right, the well, process why don't we carry Tootsie, her. carry the cameras, and right. let me see Tootsie. Yeah, that 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 All right. Well, your husband's coming to get me to go fishing, right? You bet. Are y'all doing all this? <laughs> all right. Yeah, so y'all just gonna carry her like this. That's great. Yep. Can That's... we help you? She's oh, right. so we didn't want to. Okay. okay. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go this way. I'm gonna take y'all the. What? Oh, you know what she does? That's what she does. Huh? She's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what she's doing. Oh, yeah. 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 Walk straight back, straight back. Straight back, straight back. Can they walk backwards? Hey, Alex. Hey, Hey, John. 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 Hey, Oh, I maybe mean, it's just being cleaned out. How are you doing? Sorry. Sorry to walk through. Oh, I can't find it. Most work you've done ever. Ever. All right. This is beautiful. Oh, thanks. This is beautiful. <laughs> Put the dog in here. Okay. We'll take the dog in here and open the trap. I think it's going to go, yeah. Can I go here? Can I go right in here? You sure can. Hi, honey. I'll just take a seat and that way I don't be. What you think, baby? Hey, Rhonda. What you think about it, honey? In a little bit, I'll be <coughs> bringing this dog in for exam. All right. So if she hasn't started on any surgeries, I want her to live with this dog before Susan starts grooming it, okay? No check. No check. These are guys are out on a playtime. They're adorable. I know. I think she's got impacted back there. Not impacted back there. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Come on, baby. She's like, no. Come on, come on. She'll come to a woman before she comes okay. to me. Hi, sweetie. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, sweetie. Hi, what a girl. She left. All right, you ready? Okay. Come on now. Yay. Oh, no, we are. What a girl. She's a okay. That's sweet. Very friendly, then, huh? <laughs> I know I'm a good one. Okay, come on, we gotta go. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Yay. Oh goodness, Tootsie, look at you. <laughs> there you go. 
You can have an egg roll. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of my eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you about have a year? Some swollen, yeah, about a year. About a year. Got some swollen lips right here. I don't know what uh, what's causing that. I'll have the exam, uh, the veterinarian exam that little little tumor spot there. And uh, let's see here. Why, man? Why the city? Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel some uh, little bumps up here. Sometimes when you, I'll let the vet look at her. But uh, sometimes when you have those little pustules, it can be the liver, you know, poisons and things like that. But uh, she's a nice little dog. Why don't we take her over and let the veterinarian look at her? Sounds good. Oh. Keeps, you gotta leave that real well. It's kind of crooked. Lift it up level and then flip. Oh, there we go. Wow, well, that was still so good. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is what you're trying to try. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Inside the lip, it looks like there's a an area of swelling, and then I put my fingers up in the lips, and it seemed like there might have been some uh, little pustules or lesions up in the lips. Y'all have been trying to catch her for how long now? Like a while, right? Since November, apparently. Really? Oh wow! Smart one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a light work? Yeah. There. She's still just being so calm. Oh my goodness. Ew. Yeah. So she probably, that's probably trauma on something. Yeah, because this side is all normal. That side of her mouth is normal, and then this side has that area. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like two cuts or laceration and it's healing, so we'll get her on antibiotics for that. What do your consoles look like? Whoa! Okay, let's get a pimp on them. Mouth feels hot. She's a little bit, a little bit feral. She's doing nervous. good then. She is. She's doing pretty good. She's young. Yeah. Ooh, diarrhea, huh? Or diarrhea? Well, in a mat. Oh my probably, god. Probably. Probably stress. Just hold that right there. Good. Ooh, and anal glands. Is that puppies? A lot of that could be excitement. I mean, yeah. One hundred two point five would be the high end of normal. So, one hundred three point six. You know, definitely up there, but not necessarily fever due to infection. Yeah. 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 
ko. I bet they've been bribing her with all kinds of different foods to get into the trap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and sausages. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get her cleaned yeah, up. Yeah, get her cleaned up. I mean, and then we'll and do then the we hard can work do a test, and then we'll okay. do the rest of the checking her in. Okay. But all yeah. Right. Thank you. I tell her, tell them to use cool water. Okay. Okay. Instead of hot. I mean, you know, just so we don't add to the fever. Okay. okay. Sure will. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good luck. What, does she have a name yet or not? Tootsie. Tootsie, oh, that's right. Okay, Tootsie. Tootsie. Yeah, I saw that on the paperwork. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. And I said, cool. I wonder if it's cool. Yeah. Oh, oh. Susan, I've got a dog that desperately needs some cleaning up. There's a lot of feces on the rectum. If we can get the mats cut out, then I can bathe the dog.
you like me to help you hold him? No, yeah, she's been pretty good. Yeah. Cool. She really is. Uh, once I got her in her face, she just got up. Yeah, she was chilling. She wasn't freaking out or anything? No. A little nervous, but not. You know? Has anybody scanned her for a microchip yet? Okay. Mm -hmm. for a microchip. No. No microchip. Hi, how are you? Hi. Nice to see you. I'm good. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. I stopped because I'm almost dead, Tom, but I'm going to get the dog coming out of the building. Yep. All good? We made time, you guys. Can we? We are on uh, time. Yeah. Dot com. What? Oh, Time Magazine. Oh, I thought you meant we were like. No, Thank Time Magazine. Houston, uh, Yesterday. Houston? Yes, it's in Time Magazine. <laughs> I'm on yeah. TimeMagazine.com. Wow. <laughs> you have a bunch of. Look in the, the top for the um, airway. Yeah. That big, that big uh, clumps in there. Yeah. It's awesome that we got that um, dog from yesterday on time dog. You know, the stuff we got Yeah, it's amazing, man. Hopefully that'll help out. Um, I hope that people want to send money to help. Yeah, because they got these reptiles that are Take care of that dog. Yeah. Not just as an interest story, but actually contribute. Well, we'll figure out how to make that happen for them. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm taking the music, it is so know, appropriate. Right? <laughs> 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 Beatles are easy to clear, right? Like a barbicide type of a thing? Oh, uh, that's just alcohol. Oh, uh, just to clean it? Yeah, I will once I'm done. Way 
better luck than I do because I'm not set for this late. I did get some slow mo. Let me get out of your way here. You got the helm again. to get us started. as soon as we get the filth off of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're looking like a dog. <laughs> yeah. As in a dirty mop. Yeah, I didn't get a picture. All right. Well, we'll, uh, let's 
Can I go bathe her real quick? Sure. And, and then I'm off. And uh, I'll probably, uh, I might bring her in here to, to uh, dry the head, okay? So if we get the hair picked up, I won't blow over because it won't take me too long to bathe her. Just um, indulge me for just a moment or two, because the lighting is so wonderful. And um, well, this. Oh, Tootsie. Hey, Oh, my God. 
shelter. Oh my gosh. I got seven more I gotta go get oh when, as soon as y'all leave. Yeah. Yeah. That one looks, yeah. Looks <laughs> like Jitsi.
stuff is in her. Uh, it's not just dirt or it would have come out. Hmm. So it's Give her a rabies shot and give her the rest of her shots and everything and microchip her. So, can we do that real quick? Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll get the microchip. Can we get a weight on her and put her on the patient too? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, we need to go find a store and buy her. Yeah. Like today. Yeah, like today. Or as it turned out? Yeah. Uh, no, I do you. So you're weighing her now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we got? 18. 17.8, 18.2. We'll go with 18. And vaccinate her, and then um, I'm going to give her a convenient injection and okay. for her skin, and then we'll put her on a ketoconazole for her skin. And just to find out what her heartworm status is, too. Yeah. Uh, can you we do have a heartworm test, please?
So she's getting some medications now for her skin. Uh, this, uh, yeah, well actually what I'm going to do is um, put her on a convenia injection, which is a 10 to 14 day uh, cephalexin, cephalosporin antibiotic that will be in her system. That way we don't have to worry about constantly pilling her. But the ketoconazole does have to be uh, a tablet. That's an antifungal, anti-yeast. And a lot of times that's exactly what we're culturing from these areas when they've been heavily matted. So, um, did she like it or not? Uh -uh, she's not going to eat it. Okay. Um, is she just a little too nervous to eat right now? Or? Probably. Uh, so this is Drontal Plus that we typically deworm them with. It gets hooks, rounds, whips, and tapeworms. So that pretty much is you know, a really good general dewormer. Mm -hmm. We'll do the heartworm test, know her status. Um, we're actually in the middle of reading her fecal right now. Okay. Um, but even if a fecal is negative, since they've been on the streets and stuff, we go ahead and uh, whipworms. Okay, so she already read it, whipworms. <laughs> so. And what's the treatment for that? Uh, the Toronto Plus gets it, but sometimes I'll also kind of combine it with panic here. Um, and I'll do the Panicure three days in a row. A lot of times they also have Giardia, especially with as nasty as her stool was and stinky. Um, so a lot of times I'll go ahead and um, put, treat them for Giardia, for being on the streets, drinking, you know, um, contaminated water, right. that sort of thing, okay? Um, that's not wanting to take three pills. <laughs> so yeah, it's really nice when they like the canned food because then you know obviously pilling them is not a problem. Right. <laughs> but she's a bit too stressed out for that. So yeah. Okay. Let me calculate this up a little bit. Kind of got to toss it down her throat, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll knock the chipper if somebody wants to hold her. Okay. I'll hold it for you. So we're going to have to go with, um, and you already scanned her for one, right? Mm -hmm. Just the scanner. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about a DHLP? Uh, yeah, let's do DHLPP, let's do her Bordetella. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the rabies. Um, since you got all, you got everything yeah, we, in we here. we got it all in here. You might not have the Bordetella. I mean, hey, Ruby, do you want to go run and get a Bordetella or uh, Bordetella from the refrigerator? Yeah. Uh, not Bordetella, DHPP. Yeah. Hey. They okay. look real good and clean. When y'all when y'all spare, I'll yeah, let y'all pluck, pluck that. Pluck that. That's pretty thick. Okay. Yeah, but they were real clean. There wasn't any debris. Nice and pink. No swelling. Some, uh, 
hydrogen peroxide. Yeah, I, like I get that. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, the middle one. So I did the smear it. Oh, that's your bad lip. Yum, yum, yum. I swear she's been Morita's. Oh, she's what? You got the DHPP thing. Yeah. Which is pretty young. Yeah. Yeah, this is absolutely like no tartar. Yeah. And then, but she is over, she is probably at least a year. If she got pregnant on her first heat, let's say at six months, because her nipples look like and her mammary glands are developed like she's lactated. Mm -hmm. So you figure if, if, if they come into heat um, at uh, if they come into heat at six months, first first litter by eight months of age, they're weaned, they're gone. So now she's ten months. So that'd be the young end of it. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times when I get in there and I spay them, you can actually look at the reproductive tract and see if it's really stretched out, like she's had multiple pregnancies oh, or yeah. not. And then from there, I bump up the age or I bring it down depending on that. So mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's all a guess, but you know we try to kind of base yeah. it on what we see. Sure. Very educated guess. Yeah, we educate. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get her a. Uh, a collar, an ID. Okay, uh, you know what? There might be some. I don't know if there's pink ones though, mixed with those blue ones right by the chair, behind the chair, oh, on the wall, on the chair. in the box. Oh, okay, look up in the. Uh, I got one. If there's no pinks in there, good, yay! You've got pink mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. Out of the marker. Um, um, how long has it been sitting though? Marker. Yeah. And scissors. Oh, thank you. What's her name again? Tootsie. And we're looking like we're heartworm negative. So okay. that's that. And so basically what I do at this point, or what we try to implement, is uh, controlling them for any sort of mange that they might have. Ear mites, sarcoptic mange, um, anything that, that could be brought in in that matted up hair coat. So we, we'll give her some ivermectin now and that'll kind of count for her um, heartworm preventative and then also treat for mange. Mm -hmm. So that way when she goes into population, you know, she's at least covered. Right? All right, well, I'm going to finish trimming that hair, okay. take her out to potty, and we're going to put her in her run. Okay. Do you know where you're putting her? So far, I'm going to put her in the well building. Um, I don't think she's got anything contagious. Okay. I don't think we need to isolate her. Hey, if you want to, um, put her in with Mindy. Because she's okay. about the same size, see if they get along. Yes. All right. Like size dog in there with Is there already one yeah. in there? Okay, because I was going to say both would be on Keto Kana's also. That okay, would well, let's, we'll move the other one over, yeah, I'll and I'll, we'll put this one in with Mindy. And that okay. way you've got two young females, both on the right. same meds. You all through with me? Um, one oh, last little okay. coke, I know, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> Don't worry, once you get to that hotel room, you get to crash. Let's turn down service. And that's right. <laughs> sleep for a good 24 hours. Alright, so this one kind of burns a little bit. So actually, I'm going to just kind of distract him. Some of it came out. Got most of it got in. Okay. Once she's dry, we'll put Advantage Multi on her. Okay. Alright. Back to the groom room. Thank you so Hello. much. I don't know what I got your name. Oh, Catalina Thurston. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're the only camera working. Such stress. Okay, I want to grab this top knot real quick.
top knot. didn't want to come out. Those clumps? Yeah. Yeah, something gooey. Clump yeah, who knows around. what that might be. Mm -hmm. Look at her getting a little fluffy on top, just like she should be. Yeah. Get this right here while I got it isolated.
This is Tootsie. She's getting adopted by Stacia. And Stacia adopted one of her babies. And Stacia lives in Dallas with one of the puppies. And um, I think this is going to be a great reunion with her and her baby. It's an animal world out there. Watch the World Animal Awareness Society channel and feel right at home. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while.